Don't worry about the next, cause it's your boy Chris with the next. And like I said, I'll go back to my regular settings eventually. Life is, you know, work, trying to get other stuff together, taking over. Um, I'll find a sense in all this madness. Because, you know, when your sanity hangs by a thread, you just gotta sew yourself back together. Alright, so I just want to talk about the whole Amber Rose situation with her son. Her, I believe he's four or five years old. Um, and the whole situation, and I know, and I know you have seen the title. Uh, it just lets me know if you watched the video or not. Well, listen, you ain't even gotta watch. Because you ain't even seeing me yet. But the reason why I want to talk about this is because you know how I do. You know, you've seen my previous videos. You know what I stand for. You know, be outside the box. Be crazy. You know, live your life. Do what you want to do. D don't care about what other people got to say. And so when I first saw the... Because Amber Rose... And I'm not really no Amber Rose stan. Although I think she was better when she was with Kanye West. But that's just my two cents. But, um, yeah, I just, um, okay, so let me spit, let's, let me spit, bust my flow to you. So I saw the picture. So first of all, if y'all know, Amber Rose has been trying out different hairstyles. Because, you know, she's been known for being bald or like with a fade and being pretty. And being one of the first females to be successfully pretty with the fade uh because not a lot of females can pull that off you have to have the right head for it but you know she is very beautiful without hair so of course you know when you have like long hair you try short hair and when you have short hair you try long hair you know just to switch it up like how tony braxton and a lot of other people you know do you know you just switch it up that's just human nature Unless you just like looking the same, then that's your personal preference. But yeah, so she had this um, braided wig, a, Sen a Senegalese twist, a Havana twist, I'm pretty sure it was. They were very thick. And I saw her wear it, and it, it looked pretty good. But um, I saw the picture of her son, who is four years old. Uh, with it on his head now. When I first seen it, I didn't even know. It was, I didn't even know it was Ambrose's son. I just thought it was a little, a little boy w just pushing his hair back, and he, I thought he had like the sides shaved off, and then I just thought he was pushing his hair back. I didn't think nothing of it, you know, just because it, it looked it looked natural on him. I don't know. Not too natural. My main concern was it was just too much hair for him at that 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 age. But I didn't know that was Amber Rose's son. I didn't. I didn't know. I didn't even like I said. I've been out of it. But um, yeah. So then I started looking at the comments section. And then you know, in the black community, you know, a lot of people just tend to focus on what's gay for them, whether it is it, not. You know, people just you know like to focus on that in the black community because the black community have no problem being petty now I'm calling out my community even though it's not really much of a community but I just like I give tea I, I give the real you know I keep the real you know I don't sugarcoat nothing you know I keep the real and I just think it was very petty for people to have come for this child like that because if it was a little girl wearing boys clothes there would be nothing said about that first of all well because I grew up in the 90s so you did have a lot of tomboys you had a lot of the female singers like Escape Aaliyah um, uh, Monica to a certain extent not too much but um it's all the female rappers except Lil Kim and Adina Howard was the first one to like in the 90s like to pull that lid off you know still being commander of her sexuality while looking feminine and then Lil Kim 
did it for the rap, the rap chicks, you know, Queen B, Lil' Kim. But yeah, so I'm from the 90s, but in the 90s, you had a lot of tomboys. Nowadays, they might think you a stud or lesbian before they call you a tomboy. But it's still, you know, nothing really to be said about that. But all of a sudden, when we want to, you know, as guys, where he wants to do something different with his look, especially being black, you always got to be gay for that. And I just think that's stupid. Because first of all, it wasn't like the wig was like a blonde wig or it was curly, long and red, or it wasn't like, you know, some RuPaul drag race hair. It was just braids. And a lot of people drug that kid, and that's a kid. You can't be dragging nobody's kid, come on. Now, like, you know, I'm not really a fan of the um, Kardashians, but, you know, their son is adorable. Their daughter is adorable. You know, she got some attitude going on, you know. Even though, you know, I mean, I used to be kind of a Kanye West fan until, yeah, until Kanye went on his rampage. Well, until he started dating Kim, I just think that was kind of a low blow for him, you know. And Kim, just because Kim, you know. But, again, they have, you know, really adorable kids. And, yeah, you know, and how Amber Rose had came at people talking about her son you know I, I think on snapchat i think she was more than right you know what you wear does not define your sexuality and to school yeah and to school people if you really know like your history at some point in time men and women were wearing the same things it really wasn't until the 1920s where women was you know, the fashion queens or whatever, where women's fashions was emphasized. You know, so, like I said, I just think it was a bit much for people to drag that kid. You know, it was just a harmless picture, but in a black community, people just want to focus on the stupidest shit ever. You know, if you got Zimmerman walking the streets freely, taunting you know the Trayvon family you got other racist and all this other types of stuff you know black on black crime and all this other stuff that we should put our focus to and still you just want to try to read a kid who has a wig on and a wig is just a, it's hair like you know Maybe some dudes who put it on is like that, and some aren't. It looked like his own hair. Maybe if he got older, like if he was like 17, it probably would have looked like legit like his hair. But even, you know, I just think, you know, it was harmless to me. Now, you may want your kids to look a certain way, and that's fine. But, like, again, when they get older, they might do what they want to do. And me, I stand, I think outside the box. I do not care what people think of me. And I know who I am and I know what I live by. And you don't need to be gay to do a lot of things. And I, and, I, and one of the things I was thinking, maybe long after I'm gone or all the way until Amber Rose's son has grandkids, and even then, maybe we will start realizing that what you wear does not define your sexuality especially when it comes to guys because it's like with girls you know you give them a free pass on whatever and it's a double standard you know this is a man's world but it will be nothing without a woman or a girl and i wish people would see that but again they don't i guess that's my two cents on it i'm just rambling and just my thoughts coming to head i'm not trying to make this video perfect or polished this is just my thoughts like I said you know you can't be reading no kid and you it it looked like his own hair I mean it looked like too much hair like they added braids to it but it, it was nothing like it was not 
it was nothing to like go in so deeply about and as in the black community we always take something it's something nothing and make it out of something and that's the wrong thing you know a lot of people you get bullied and stuff just for not trying to be a nigga or try to fit in with the norm because like I said a lot of people nowadays they feel like gang banging is played out you know how many gangster rappers you know we got nowadays you know I did grow up with gangster rap I'm not no gangster I've never been in a gang but rap back then was nothing to play with <laughs> You know, people was flowing. You know, people took the craft seriously. And you, you, you could listen to gangster rap or you could li listen to some like Mob Deep or Nas, some poetic rap or Tupac because some of his stuff was poetic. And then he had the bitches and hoes, but, you know, he switched it up. He was mostly a poetic rapper and he was very powerful at his game. But that's another a video for another time. You know, but yeah, we don't have no rappers like that no more. And Young Thug is his own situation, but again, I don't want to be a hypocrite. So like I said, you know, it could be for his entertainment, you know. Maybe we are going back to what the world used to be. Like every, um, like they say, things resurface, you know. We used to be in fashion back then, it usually resurfaced to now. Everything is mixed up. We ain't got no more, no more normal teenagers or anything. Some of the teenagers nowadays look older than me. And, you know, I'm 25. I still get uh, comments. That people think I'm 18 or 19. And I see most of these uh, kids, teenagers nowadays, and they be looking 20 and 25. It's like, wait a minute. Is there some hormones that we going in the food that we don't know about? All right, anyways, like I said, I'm just rambling, but yeah, that's just my thoughts. Comments, questions, concerns, I'll leave them in the comment section below. Anything you want me to talk about, you know where to leave it in the comment section below. Like, share, and subscribe. You ain't even got to share, just like and subscribe. Anyway, this has been your boy, Chris with an X. Peace.